What if we told you that your favorite characters from Stranger Things might be in grave danger in the final season? In this video, we'll explore the dark twists and chilling possibilities that await Nancy, Steve, Eleven, and the rest of the Hawkins gang. Get ready for a roller coaster ride of theories, potential deaths, and unexpected connections to classic movies. And as always, we'll provide you with the most captivating and up to date insights right here on the showist. So grab your popcorn, dim the lights, and brace yourself for a trip to the upside down. By the end of this video, you'll have a wealth of Stranger Things knowledge, and it will keep you on the edge of your seat while waiting for the final season to arrive. So, Please let us introduce you to why Vecna will target Nancy in Stranger Things Season 5. Stranger Things Season 4 set the stage for Nancy as Vecna's next target. Nancy has been playing detective in Hawkins, and after Chrissy Cunningham was found pushing up daisies in Eddie Munson's trailer, she couldn't sit on her hands, and things got a little bit messy. But tragedy struck again when her reporter pal Fred Benson fell prey to Vecna's curse. He was dealing with some serious emotional baggage from a nasty car crash. Here's where things get really spooky. When I kill someone, I never forget. Nancy ends up in this deserted pool, all covered in gnarly vines. And guess what she finds? Barb's lifeless body. And Vecna, that cold-hearted monster, uses this to really mess with Nancy's head making her feel all guilty for Barb's demise. Do you remember what you did, Nancy? Or have you already forgotten? Also, he sends her on a trip down Mary Lane by showing her his tragic past and how he ended up in Hawkins' lab. She wanted him to lock me away to fix me. Even though it wasn't I who was broken, it was them. But wait! He gives her a sneak peek of a fiery Hawkins, overrun by the Upside Down, and a monstrous creature wiping out everything in its path, including her loved ones. No! No! Now, Nancy and her gang give Vecna a taste of his own medicine, but despite their efforts, he's still breathing. And here's what happens when you're cursed by Vecna. It's a real doozy. Migraines, sleepless nights, nightmares, sweats, and flashbacks to your worst memories. Nancy got a free pass on most of these, but she did get a horrifying vision courtesy of Vecna. Coupled with the guilt she's been carrying around since Barb's death and her little showdown with Vecna, it looks like she's at the top of his hit list. But killing her might be too easy for our villain. He's got a taste for torment, and again, he might just go after those closest to Nancy instead. And speaking of closest to Nancy, you don't want to miss this. Keep watching. Vecna might kill Steve. So, we all know Nancy and Steve are ex-lovers turned best buds, right? But in Season 4, we got a hint that there might still be some sparks flying between these two. Now our villain Vecna, he's not one to miss a trick. He's seen what's going on inside Nancy's heart. And you know what they say about a villain with information, right? Well, there's a theory out there that our dear Steve might not make it through the final season. And as much as it pains us to say it, our charming fan favorite might meet his end in Season 5. Vecna might end the life of Steve just to play with Nancy's emotions, to twist the knife in her heart. And this tragedy wouldn't just shatter Nancy, it could make the rest of our beloved characters more susceptible to Vecna's wicked curse. So we've established that our girl Nancy has a bullseye painted on her back, right? But remember that Nancy is tough as nails, and our villain, Vecna, probably got a good sense of that. But. What if Vecna decides to change his game plan? Don't go anywhere because we're about to shake things up. Keep watching. Now, Vecna with his sights set not on Nancy, but on the whole town of Hawkins and our super-powered heroine, Eleven. Imagine him focusing all his wicked energy on capturing Eleven and turning Hawkins into his own personal nightmare playground. Remember those eerie visions Vecna showed Nancy in Season 4? Yeah, those are starting to come to life. The upside down creeping into Hawkins, the sky shrouded in red clouds, it's all happening. But hey, don't lose hope just yet. There's still a chance that Nancy and the gang might pull through. Won't be that easy, but when has it ever been? The Vecna and Nancy's twist create a screenplay conflict. You remember the first three seasons, right? We had monsters with no feelings scaring our heroes. But Vecna? He's a game changer. He talks to our characters and he's got a plan. He's dangerous too, cursing a bunch of our favorite folks, messing with their minds until they met a grim end. But 
Our clever Stranger Things writers threw us a curveball by wrapping up Nancy's encounter with Vecna in a pretty unexpected way. He slipped to Vecna's finger easily. Some might call it a bit of a damp squib, but how about you? What do you think about it? Leave a comment down below. Vecna's letting go of Nancy so easy was pointless. Volume 2 of Season 4 starts with Vecna setting Nancy free, and all he wants is for her to tell Eleven his evil plan for Hawkins. She wakes up safe with Steve, and the curse? Gone for good, even though Max gets attacked by Vecna later. Now, some fans are pretty miffed at this twist. Why would Vecna let Nancy off the hook so easily? Seems like the Stranger Things writers just wanted a juicy cliffhanger for the end of Volume 1. Nancy was never in real danger, and they rushed her escape at the very beginning of Episode 8. It looks like Vecna's attack on Nancy was just to hype up Volume 2, and the Duffer Brothers never planned to kill off our brave Nancy Wheeler. The death of our main character is a must. It's like the main guys and gals, like Nancy. They're always safe, no matter what. It's as if they were wrapped up in some magic plot armor that just won't break. But the new guys? Like our pal Bob Newby, or the brainy Dr. Alexei, or even poor Eddie Munson from Season 4? They're not so lucky. Remember when Jim Hopper was supposed to be dead at the end of Season 3? But then bam, he's back. And then there's Max, who survived some pretty gnarly stuff from Vecna. It feels like the show needs to up the game if it wants to end on a big high note. Maybe that means saying goodbye to some of our favorite characters like Nancy or Steve. Tough, but it might just make things more exciting, right? Here's another fun bit. Vecna's attack on Nancy might be a cheeky nod to an old movie classic, A Nightmare on Elm Street. The character Henry Creel is pretty much Freddy Krueger's twin brother, right down to the actor Robert Ungland playing his dad. The showrunners, the Duffer Brothers, probably just wanted to have their own Freddy chasing a girl named Nancy around in a dream world. Kinda neat, huh? But here's the thing, it would be way more exciting if Stranger Things wasn't always giving our main characters a free pass. Come on, let's face it folks, it's really hard to be thrilled when none of our favorite characters will die. And if on Season 5 they still keep the main characters alive, we don't really know if it is going to be a good ending for Stranger Things. Why? Because there are a lot of death options in the final season. Now that we've reached the final season, they're probably going to go all out. At the end of Season 4, there was a hint that the spooky upside-down world and the real world might mix. Now, let's talk about Max. We're not sure what'll happen to her, but it's not likely she'll be killed off after she already had a close call. On the other hand, Hopper came back from the dead, so there's a chance he could go out in a blaze of glory. Vecna's main target is Eleven, and she might end up sacrificing herself to save the world. That would be a super sad ending for her, but it will make her a true hero. There are also a lot of talks that Will might bite the dust in Stranger Things. He's got this weird connection to the Upside Down, and his story just keeps getting sadder. 